Now let's talk a little bit about commercial quality enclosures that you can buy or even if you want to make your own commercial quality enclosure for your Arduino prototype or your final Arduino product. You basically have three main flavors, or I should say two. There's plastic and metal, right? These are some really nice metal ones. They have tapped holes in them right here. They come with a little bag of screws. I usually tape them to the inside when I need them. You can run a little bit of silicone around the edges here and in the threads here, giving them a pretty waterproof enclosure. Downside is these are metal, you know, they're conductive. The plus side is I could basically jump on these and nothing's gonna happen to them. They also come in plastic. I just happen to have some metal ones here as a sample, all different shapes and sizes. Really nice, quite affordable. They paint really well, although they'll make your hands black until you do that. That's one thing that I definitely don't enjoy about them. The other type would be more of these custom made enclosures. This one is specifically for Arduino and I haven't taken it apart yet and it's because I wanna talk a little bit about it. This one has panels that you put on top and bottom. It allows you to access ports. You can see how that fits really nicely there. And it has some buttons that you can integrate. If you don't want a window here, you can put this solid piece in. And these are really nice. And you can buy them for your project, but if you wanted to design them, this is where I say, okay, time out. What is your job? Are you an engineer that eats, sleeps, and breathes plastic injection molding? Because if you're not, Go find one, hire them, make them a partner, figure something out, because this is extremely complicated to develop yourself. And while I'm on that topic, find your manufacturer, because your manufacturer might do things a little bit different than your engineer or designer might do things. There's all important things like draft angles and pins for the rejection pins on here, how much shot you can load in. You know, this is a great example. You can shoot all these pieces at once. In fact, there was another piece here and also, looking at these, I can find some clues on how it was manufactured. There's this whole art of deconstructing the manufacturing process by looking at clues on how this was made. For instance, I don't know if this picks up on the camera, but you see these little circles in here. That's where the ejection pins were. So when this was in the mold, those are the pins that came out and pushed it out of the mold. But you have to be aware of things like draft angles. You can't have anything that's straight or tapered the wrong way, right? It won't pull out of the mold. So I really advise you getting a professional before designing it. That being said, there are lots of professional enclosures out there on the market. Maybe you can buy them in bulk and not even worry about making an enclosure for your own project. In all actuality, that probably won't work out long-term or at high volume, but it certainly is an option. Now, there aren't that many Arduino-specific cases like this one out there. Mostly they're these generic cases. And as you can see, this one probably won't even fit my Arduino in there, much less anything else, but it might fit my perf board perfectly or be used for just sensors. Not gonna get wireless signals out of this. I'd have to have an external antenna because it's made of metal. So you have to really consider all those things when picking out a commercial enclosure for your Arduino prototype.